Hey everybody, Chris Young from Gander RV and Outdoors here. Today, I'm gonna go over a great lineup of travel trailers and fifth wheels. So pardon me if I'm a little excited. These are some of my favorites. I'm gonna be walking you through the expansive line of Sprinter Limited by Keystone. These are truly a top-notch way for you and your family to experience the outdoor life. So what do you say we dive into the floor plans? There's a whopping total of 23 floor plans. So what I'll do is go through them one version at a time. First up, I got the Sprinter Limited travel trailers. Five floor plans. The Sprinter Limited has a pair with the main bedroom up front and a pair with the main bedroom in the rear. Yes, I know, that's four. I'll get to that number five in just a moment. The first of the upfront bedroom layouts is the 320 MLS. As a rear kitchen floor plan, it is totally centered around camp cooking. A full third of the floor plan is dedicated to the kitchen, starting with the rear wall that's all kitchen with counter space and a glass top range flanked by two pantries. There's walkable space between this part and the massive counter that's housing the extra large sink. Beyond the sink area is more countertop with a trio of bar stools. The fridge is actually two. It's dual seven cubic foot gas and electric fridges sitting in a large off camp side slide along with a pair of theater seats. The seats sit across from an opposing slide containing the entertainment center and a fireplace. A trifold sofa finishes off the living area. The bedroom has a walk around residential queen bed and direct access to the bathroom via pocket door. The 320 MLS sleeps up to four people. Floor plan number two of the front bedroom layouts is the 328 MBK. It's a bunkhouse floor plan. The 328 has a true bunk room with a solid privacy door. Inside the bunk room are a pair of twin bunks and a sleeper sofa. The sofa and one of the bunks sit in a slide. Two additional slides are in the main living area. One next to the bunk room slide pulls out the major kitchen appliances. On the opposite, a slide pulls out the dinette and reclining theater seats. Between them sits a large kitchen island with plenty of countertop space. The front end is identical to the 320 MLS. The 328 MBK can sleep up to six. On to the rear bedroom Sprinter Limited travel trailers. Both the 330 KBS and the 333 FKS have three slides. The 330, a front living floor plan, has a king bed on the slide to create a massive master bedroom. A pocket door allows direct access to the walkthrough bathroom and can be set to create a master suite. The front living area has a pair of opposing slides, one containing reclining theater seats while the slide mirroring it houses the range, dual seven cubic foot fridges, and the entertainment center. A large kitchen island complete with bar stools sits right in the middle. Up front in the cap is a trifold sofa, so you can have four sleepers. The 333 FKS is similar with the king bed on its own slide and the huge master bedroom, but the bathroom is opposite the entry side and creates hallway access to the bedroom. As we enter the living area, a queen size trifold sofa abuts the bathroom. Opposing slides create a wide open living space dominated by the kitchen. One contains the entertainment center, fireplace, and dual fridges. The other holds theater seats and a freestanding dinette. In between, you'll find a unique kitchen island containing the range. In the front cap sits the extra large sink, plenty of counter space, and a pair of pantries. Now on to the Sprinter Limited Travel Trailer Floor Plan number five, the 341 BIK, a bunkhouse model with a bunk room holding two twin bunks and a sofa, with one of the bunks and the sofa on a slide. A pair of opposing slides expand the main area. One pulls out the retractable TV, fireplace, and a pair of seven cubic feet fridges. The other contains theater seats and a dinette. In between sits a very functional kitchen island. Now we're gonna move on to the Sprinter Limited fifth wheel floor plans. These floor plans are effectively nine, but each one of the nine has its own twin, just not an identical twin. Off the top, I wanna to tell you what all the Sprinter Limited fifth wheels share. They have a king bed embedded in a slide out and a similar bathroom each with a linen closet, some with a neo-angle shower and others with a standard rectangular shower. As far as their respective twins, in a moment, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Let's check out the rear living floor plans first. The 3150 FWRLS has a queen-size trifold sofa on its back wall and opposing slides opening up the living area. 
One slide holds the fridge and range along with the entertainment center, fireplace, and an outside kitchen. The other holds the freestanding dinette and theater seats. In the middle, you'll find a kitchen island with that pantry that complements the extra large sink and countertop space. Stepping up, you'll enter the master bedroom with its large wardrobe closet spanning the entire front cap that also includes a washer dryer prep. Its twin is the 3151 FWRLS. It has one difference, as do all the twins. It has a larger fridge, a residential fridge as opposed to an eight cubic foot gas electric. Next up is the 3160 and 3161 FWRLS, which is brand new and essentially a refresh of the above 3150 and 3151 in terms of layout, with the kitchen sink moved from an interior wall into a kitchen island. Rear living floor plan number three of the four is 3530 FWDEN. The DEN stands for DEN and the 3530 sure has an impressive one. The back wall is dominated by a large entertainment center with a 50-inch TV and fireplace. This is flanked by a pair of queen-size trifold sofas, each on opposing slides. A pair of theater seats finishes off the den. The kitchen is impressive with a dinette, three bar stools, and a bench. The major kitchen appliances and large pantry sit in a slide with the extra large sink and counter space against a wall abutting up to the bathroom. Up front, you'll see the bedroom identically laid out like the 3150 FWRLS. Its twin is the 3351 FWDEN, and the difference, once again, lies in the size of the fridge. The final rear living floor plan is the 3560 and 3561 RLB. The RLB has a nice queen-size trifold sofa dominating the rear wall, plus opposing slides to really open up that living area for great accommodation. One slide pulls out the fridge, range, entertainment center, fireplace, and a set of pull-out dog bowls. Across from it sits a slide housing theater seats and a booth dinette. This all makes plenty of room for not only a large kitchen island, but an impressive L-shaped wet bar and walk-in pantry. Up front, you'll see the same impressive bed and closet layout as the 3150 FWRLS. The lone front living model is the 3340 FWFLS, and its corresponding twin is the 3341 FWFLS. Espe effectively, this pair takes the two DIN models and flips them, creating a mirror image, with the DIN now in the front as opposed to the rear. The master bedroom is now in the rear with the bench slide on the entry side. Sprinter Limited fifth wheels have one rear kitchen floor plan, the 3550 FWMLS and the 3551 FWMLS. The 3550 is like taking the 320 MLS travel trailer and expanding it into a fifth wheel format. The rear kitchen layout is nearly identical. The differences reside in the front end. Steps move you to the off campsite to pass the bathroom on your way to a very impressive front bedroom. The bedroom adds an additional slide, a slide housing the dresser and bench seating. Per usual, the front cap is filled with a large wardrobe closet and washer dryer prep. The Sprinter Limited fifth wheel line has a pair of bunkhouse floor plans as well. First up, the 3570 FWLFT, and that LFT stands for loft. That means bunk space, a lot of it. The bunkhouse floor plan starts with a queen size trifold sofa dominating the rear wall and two opposing slides pulling out major kitchen appliances and entertainment center slash fireplace on the camp side and theater seats and dinette on the opposite. The front of this layout has a standard king bed and wardrobe washer dryer prep. What makes this layout special lies in the middle. There you'll find a private room with a queen size trifold sofa and entertainment plus a queen loft right above it. Yes, that's a lot of sleeping spaces there, eight in total. Also allowing for plenty of people to sleep is the second of the two Sprinter Limited bunkhouse floor plans, the 3620 and 3621 FWLBH. This model has a rear bunk room with a sliding barn door for privacy, a twin bunk and sleeper sofa in an off campsite slide with an additional twin bunk on the campsite. The bunk room opens up to dramatically open the living area. Opposing slides allow plenty of space for a large kitchen island, one housing a booth dinette and theater seats, the other pulling out the range with pull-out dog bowls below it, the fridge, a fireplace, and a 50-inch pop-up TV. The bathroom is campsite and creates a nice hallway between the living area and the master bedroom. The bedroom has the king bed slide moved to the entry side with the rest of the layouts just like the others. 
Our final floor plans, the 3610 and the 3611 FWFKS. Unique, this is a front kitchen model in the cap with an off camp side slide containing kitchen cabinets and counter space. The middle of this layout sits in the living room. It has opposing slides. One holds the entertainment center and fireplace. The other pulls out the theater seats. As with the other layouts, the king bed is embedded in its own slide. The spacious wardrobe closet opens up with those beautiful barn doors. That's it for the Keystone Sprinter Limited floor plans. Let's dig a bit deeper and focus on the features both the Sprinter travel trailer and the fifth wheels have in common. You'll find 80 inch interior height, bow floor linoleum with a seven year warranty, in floor ducted heat, 15,000 BTU ducted AC, central command center for monitoring everything from tank levels to the slide outs, LED lighting, fireplace on most floor plans, and a slew of more camping conveniences. The kitchen is a sheer delight. I love them. Discover the industry's best features, such as solid surface countertops, large stainless steel sink with pull down sprayer faucet, stainless steel appliances, and much more. As far as the bedroom and bathroom, the Sprinter Limited line is equipped with bathroom opulence, such as a stainless steel vanity sink, skylight over the tub and or shower, and much more. The master bedroom includes luxuries such as Shaw high-grade carpet, ample closet storage, and electrical outlets near the bed. On the exterior, you'll find electric stabilization jacks, aluminum wheels, electric awning with LED light strip, among many other assets. The Sprinter Limited, regardless of whether you're talking travel trailer or fifth wheel or whatever experience you have as an RVer, has a lot going for it to keep you camp comfortable. You'll find plenty of floor plan options to take a good look at as you're making your RV decision. With the Sprinter, trust me, you cannot go wrong. Sprinter is Keystone's camping made easy line with standout features and floor plans that you're only going to see inside those Sprinters.